So what's going on people, welcome to another video on the channel, and another video for Apex Legends. It's been a long time since I've done an Apex Legends video, and um, in today's video we're not doing an update. Uh, there's been nothing announced since the 19th of March, since the start of the season pass. And um, in today's video we're actually going through some of the content which we might see in future DLCs or within season 1. Now in this video I do want your guys like input through the comment section just to show what you guys want to see from the game itself. A lot of people probably want solos, uh, you know like duos, you know some new content, anything from the game itself at this point. But for myself and in this video I am only going to go through a couple of things that I probably think might come season 1 or maybe just after season 1. So I hope you guys enjoy, remember to like, subscribe and I hope you guys enjoy this video. Now we're going to start it off with one of the probably bigger things and um, you know a lot of people probably think oh legend, oh weapon, no we're going to go for a new map. Now I think myself that a new map will probably arrive mainly because Kings Canyon has got a name to it. It's got a uh, little name tag just at the top right corner and since this is set in like the Titanfall universe they've got a lot of places that they can go to. Since this map itself does look very, very similar to just Titanfall 2's campaign levels, uh, maybe they could go towards, I don't know, maybe a more snowy biome instead. That'd be quite nice to see. Yes, you would probably see the legends from a mile away. You can do that already because of the draw distance. You can lower your graphics and then you could actually see the characters from miles away. And on console, it kind of gives a massive outline towards where players are. But, you know, like a snow biome would be pretty nice to have. Maybe a... Um, a water or a island type of setting as well. Like an island type of setting would be quite cool. We don't know if, you know, the legends can swim through shallow water instead. Uh, we know we can footprint like through little island ways, but imagine if you could have like an island type of thing and it's just like an island wars, but you have to use the balloons to get over to different islands. I know, yeah, you could probably camp on a single island by itself, but, uh, you know, it could be pretty different I would say. Uh, that might probably include a lot more different um, playlists as well. As of right now like uh, Blackout has introduced like a small close quarters type of battle royale type of setting. So maybe you know Apex Legends might be able to do that as well. They might be able to make the new map towards a close quarters type of thing. They might make the King's Canyon one as their main one and they might just adapt that a lot more. But as well, at the same time, they might just add in, you know, little small little maps at the sides. That means you can decide which type of game mode you can go towards, and then you could have different maps for different game modes. Now, as a disclaimer, which I didn't say at the start of the video, um, I'm not going to go over any legends or any weapons, mainly because that's been done a lot. So I'm going to go over everything else that we might see in the game. Now, the next thing that I probably will be going over is something that is very maybe controversial it is the introduction to duos mode now probably a lot of people probably think like oh what about solos mode solos mode is very hard especially since you are playing as a distinct character you could literally go for the full-on assault type of class and then you could be completely fine or you could play as octane and just speed through everything and just be the fastest person you could be it won't work as well but if you do have a duos mode you could lower the amount of player caps so that means you could have maybe about 30 players, 40 players, so that'd be about 15 teams to 20 teams just on the same map. So that means you can all just fight it out, two players a little bit easier, so that means it still leaves in the concept of respawning and reviving. Now if you did have a solos mode, that pretty much like gets rid of the entire concept of respawning and reviving in the entire game. And as well as that, the whole ping system becomes completely irrelevant. Now with this duo mode it could actually go between the new map mode as well because if you did have a duo's mode and have the 40 to something on the entire map uh, you could still use it on the King's Canyon but you might have to you know speed up the time of which the arena gets smaller or instead you could just make a smaller map itself. You could have a smaller map and still have the same amount of time, so that means the decrease of the circle will be a lot faster than the normal game mode of three players. Now a third thing that we're going to go over is something towards the quality of life. If people don't know what the quality of life things are, they are improvements to the game, so that means it makes it easier to play the game itself. Now this one is towards the UI for when you're looting a death box. 
Now, as of right now, it is a scrolling mechanic, and I have seen on Reddit, I will give credit to it, I will put a picture on the screen, and I will leave a link in the description to the post, which does show some concepts of improved UI graphics. Now, this does include, you know, zoomed out options. This does include the also, like, simplified like type of way of doing it where it just shows off the weapons at the top all of the consumables all the armors all of the upgrades to yourself and all of the attachments and all of the ammo all compact into one little slot all of the attachments don't show off what they are exactly so that means you can just hover over it see if it's accepted or not but everything else does make a lot of sense because right now it is it does take up a lot of space and if you are playing on console it is a little bit harder compared to on pc now, I'm not saying this is a complete improvement towards console players. This could be a massive improvement towards PC players as well. Because I know probably a lot of people playing on PC is probably annoyed at the amount of scrolling that you have to do. You could literally just have it as just all on one screen. No scrolling, just click, 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 you've got it. Now, one of the last things that we're going to be going over, I don't want to do too much about it, but these are the inclusions towards AI people or AI enemies in the game. Now these AI inclusions could be the creatures that are around this planet or whilst in Kings Canyon. These could be the hinted flyers which is, which we've actually seen. These could be the massive walkers, the AT-AT type of space creatures that we've seen as well. These could magically wander towards the entire of like Kings Canyon. Now the main reason why I'm saying this is because of the place called Repulsor on the map. Now the Repulsor area on the map does have a massive aerial which these aerials kind of warn off the space creatures away from the map. It's the reason why the walkers are so far away from the map and why they're in the ocean instead. And these massive aerials have been used in previous games that you know towards Titanfall where they have been destroyed and then these creatures have come onto the area and throughout the campaign as well. Now Respawn could add in this very easily especially since you know season one is called the Wild Frontier kind of gives it the vibe towards something that's going to happen towards the map throughout this thing. You know like how Fortnite has all the changes to the map every single season something happens then something happens later on in the season towards the start of season two. This could happen towards the middle of season one of Apex Legends. Now, one of the things that I am wondering about is that what will the AIs do? Will they attack us? Will they help us? We don't know just yet. The flyers could be a source of transportation. They could be a source of damage towards yourself or towards enemies. And in the same way with the walkers, especially if you are a pathfinder, you could use a zipline and then you could literally just rotate yourself around the entire walker um, doing like the proper 80-80 type of thing. You could maybe topple it over. We don't know yet, <laughs> but they could as well. They could kill you. Um, we don't know or eliminate you. Um, we don't know how any of this stuff will actually work. These are just thoughts throughout the whole community. I have taken some stuff and adapted it or just made my own up just for myself. Now, um, I will end the video here, so hope you enjoyed. Remember to comment down below or any things that you want to see from Apex Legends in the future. I know we haven't seen any updates as of right now. Um, there's been nothing, we have heard nothing from Respawn either, so it's all up in the air. you got to remember that the game has come out, it's gotten a mass amount of popularity, so it could be a little bit of time away from when we could see some more stuff. We don't know just yet, you know. Respawn is probably doing their best to make as much content as they can. It's like with the the battle pass for season one they probably had this lined up like a long time ago and they just haven't been able to change it as much so probably in the future we will see some improvements towards you know season two season three we'll see the improvements that fortnite has had in the future now hope you enjoyed remember to like subscribe comment down below for anything that you want to see on the channel or any improvements that i can make to these type of videos or maybe some more concepts towards different types of videos as well so hope you enjoy and i will see you guys in the next video so peace out